Hello folks, um, for those of you that watch us real close, you know, had some more gym drama. All we really wanted to do was just go down and spar, <laughs> just looking for people to spar. Um, there's several daddies running around. That I tell these dads, don't you dare let your kid these other people get a hold of your kids. And uh, so anyway, uh, there's reasons behind what I say. Uh, sometimes dads need to cut loose. And uh, at some point, probably every single one of them need to cut loose, uh, including myself or anyone else. Uh, because at some point, it's probably not good to have dad in your corner. Uh, but when you're younger, the best guy you could have in your corner, if they're knowledgeable about boxing, would be your dad. Even if the next guy over here is more knowledgeable. Um, dads can work wonders with their children. Moms can work wonders with their children. And they can do a hell of a lot damn better job being novices at something than an expert over here can do with your kid. Because parents typically care more about their kids than other folks. Um, uh, typically, man. Now, Joe called a whole damn portion of a whole state out and issued a challenge today and uh, he wanted to do it. Normally, I wouldn't, uh, we, we always got a challenge uh, uh, and it's for pretty near everybody within reason. Joe's just 14. Uh, but he ain't like no 14 you ever, your old, you ever had come through your gym. I can assure you of that. Um, is he the best to ever know? Is he the best? No, we're learning. He's 14 years old. But he knows who he is. He knows what he's got. He knows what he can dish. He knows when he dishes it, the other guy doesn't finish standing up. He got a lot of experience with that. Uh, experience tells the tale. This doesn't. So, Joe got very offended. Uh, Joe had a problem with the sparring partner some months ago. Uh, Joe goes up in there. I'm with him, and I should have caught what was going on, and they rushed Joe into some sparring. He didn't even have a warm-up or nothing. Uh, a lot of things happened. Uh, I got madder in the rattlesnake. They just got his tail stepped on. But uh, the guy who was sparring at least had guts enough to spar Joe. You understand me? Uh, we call him Big Diego. We got two Diegos that we know. One that works with us right now. We call him Little Diego because he's 125 pounds. Uh, Big Diego turns out weighed more than he said he did. There's a lot of fishy stuff with that going on. Uh, you go back and look at our videos, you find all that drama out. Because Columbia is nothing but drama, in, especially in boxing. People don't do as they say and don't say as they do all around here. Uh, that's the world today, but it's just to a worse degree, at least where we've been in the country here. Uh, these league trainers have bashed Joe's former sparring partner, whom Joe happens to think is a good boxer. He has no punching strength. Uh, 
or he has it and he's working on it, I suppose. I hope the kid hasn't quit uh, the problems that he had with Joe, I hope, didn't harm him in, or, or, or add to the ingredient I'm fixing to tell you about. Uh, and the ingredient was that uh, this kid starts boxing here in Piedcuesta. Cuesta, this, uh, this kid, Diego. They're running him through the ringer. They're putting him in with more experienced guys. Nobody at the uh, Contra Gulpi is qualified to teach anyone how to box. You can go look. They're not qualified in any of this league boxing. They are like political appointees or something, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, all these kids know how to do is put the hands up and just start swinging. Uh, these weasels critique everybody else, uh, but yet don't want any of their guys to get in with the guys that are better than their guys. Uh, which means they all stick together in their own little this group over here in Giron, this group over here in Florida Blanca, this group over here in Piet Cuesta. These are little towns around a big city called Bucaramanga here. So they've got this little thing going on amongst themselves. And uh, who do these kids into thinking that they're being trained when they're not nowhere near adequately being trained? And uh, really, in my thinking, that's child abuse. And I don't like it. So we have been in the drama for a while, but it's going to stop today. If anybody takes up Joe's challenge, and Joe's challenge existed of this, I believe I'm saying it all correctly. Anyone 15 to 18 years old, Joe's fixing to turn 15 soon. And anyone from 170 pounds, it could be a speed demon, he'll take the challenge. All the way up to 220 pounds. Uh, from 15 to 18 years old in the league boxing here. Uh, not just Pied Cuesta, Bucaramanga, the big city, Pied Cuesta, a place called Giron, and a place called Florida Blanca. Said he'd take any of them on. Is he mad at any of these fellow boxers or these fellow kids? No. Does he disrespect any of these fellow boxers or fellow kids? No. Does he respect these fellow boxers and fellow kids from these areas? Yes. He sure does. He respects them. However, he feels very sorry for them because they've all been hoodooed into uh, government-backed or sponsored programs being led by people that are not training them uh, hardly at all. Hardly at all. Uh, don't take my word for it. Go look at these cities where they've got, they had these events, go look at them in tournaments or look at them in sparring and you will easily see. Uh, but the problem is moms and dads around here, other people that would be concerned with kids around here don't understand boxing. It's therefore, they can't discern what is correct or what is not, excuse me. And we've tried to get in the leagues and we get told things like this. Uh, uh, you go up, they all know who Joe is. Joe is quite famous around here and in Columbia. And They'll come up, they usually have a smart-ass remark, they're critiquing Joe, you're no good at this, you're no good at that, you're no good at this. And, but then they don't want none of their guys to spar with Joe. They don't, you know, they don't want to include Joe. And uh, I wouldn't either if I was that lousy. 
It would worry me sick if I were putting on a charade where I was claiming to be something that I wasn't and claiming to be doing something that I wasn't delivering on and had everybody snowed and fooled through lies uh, and deceit that if someone came in that would easily expose that with one sparring session. See, because the rest of the kids will be sitting there watching. That's why we've always said, let us spar your best guy. See, because I've always known they're not worth a shit. It doesn't take a, uh, 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 a Teddy Atlas, an Angelo Dundee, a Gil Clancy to come in and uh, figure uh, bullshit out when you see it. You just look and you see it. And it's very sad what's going on with these kids. And everybody's playing a part in it. These mayors give these little certificates and sign them that they get to frame and put up on the wall. They get these little medals about this big round. Uh, they go just do this and knock the shit out of each other for three rounds and get medals. Whether they win or they lose. And it's pathetic. It is pathetic and it needs to be stopped. Everywhere mess like shit like this is going on. This is fine for the soccer field. It's fine for badminton. It's fine for basketball. Uh, but this is not fine for combat sports. So these people need to get up. And if they had any decency, they'd all get up today and they'd just walk, they'd resign and somebody would contact Bogota here at the Capitol and uh, to the National Athletic uh, Minister or Ministry of a Athletics and try to get people in here that could train these kids. There's a lot of trainers around here looking for jobs. I'm not one of them. I don't want to do it. I don't, and I, not, I, I wouldn't do it. And I can't do it. I'm, really, I'm not able to do it. Uh, I don't feel confident enough in my capabilities uh, to have 25 or 30 guys at one time. I, I can't work that way. It's not me. I'm not organized enough. And, uh, look, folks, I come from a school back from the 60s and 70s. You never went in a boxing gym and seen the lines and lines of everybody doing the same thing. You bring a kid in and you graduate a kid based on his merits as he's learning stuff. He keeps doing the same things that he is learning and is doing very well. Then you add something else to it. Then you add something else to it. Then you add something else to it. All the while, he would be sparring someone his own size. Uh, when you get up into the sparring a bigger guy, uh, there needs to be a gentleman's agreement worked out for that. And it's generally a smaller guy helping a bigger guy out. Uh, but that is in reverse a lot too. And, uh, but there's reasons for doing that. But just for the sake of just sparring, no. Uh, there has to be some guides in that type of sparring. And, um, when the guy was critiquing me or critiquing Joe and saying, Joe, why don't, why ain't he hitting a 120 pound boy that he saw some video on? Uh, that was the cake taker for me. That's when I started getting angry with this guy. And then I look back further in the videos. YouTube's probably down. Facebook's probably down. I don't know if it's still there or not. But you guys can go look. There's a link to one of these videos to a Facebook and or the YouTube. And you can go look for yourself. And then uh, if you've got any boxing experience, you're going to see the, you're fixing to see monumental bullshit. You know. 
And uh, what it, the biggest contributing factor is, is these people that are put in charge of these league boxing programs that are interested in themselves. There's some kind of political thing going on or a likability thing. They like them or something's happening, but they're not qualified. All they're doing is letting, uh, now, and here, when I say this, we are about the violence of boxing. Uh, we're not holders back of it. Uh, we're not always safety first. Uh, but if I had your kid with me, it would be safety first for your kid, you see. Uh, there's no safety first with these guys because they just get in. All they're doing is just knocking the crap out of each other with very minimal skills, uh, bad footwork, bad uh, uh, slipping and pulling techniques, bad punching techniques, bad everything. Everything is awful with these guys. And all these kids are doing, they're not learning how to box. They're just punching each other in the heads and about the bodies. And it's sad because I've talked to 20-something boxers around here that were in these leagues when they were younger. And it's hard for these guys to complete a sentence because they've been concussed so much. But the only time these trainers want to talk about concussion, uh, protocol or brain injuries or anything like that is when the when put to bear can Joe spar their guys then they want it safety first uh, brain injuries no I don't know so Joe just said yeah I'm calling them all out I'm not going to hurt these boys bad uh, but they're, they're more than likely going to get knocked out what he told me and I believe him see I know what he does I'm with him every day I know what's going on with this boy this boy stopped in 10 minutes bullying and uh, juvenile delinquency shit going on in this neighborhood 10 minutes put the word out went to the biggest guy I'm going to kick the crap out of you and it stopped and thank goodness uh, Joe at 15 didn't have to beat the crap out of a 16 year old boy because he would have done it and that boy knows it and he's watching his P's and Q's they're all watching their P's and Q's now got adults wandering around here thank you thank you Joe thank you son that was so nice having you around here so we're not into all this crazy bullshit acting foolish and being disrespectful to others up in here. But what we do do is correct people that are doing this stuff. And in this situation, it happens to be the adults, not the kids. These kids are getting on buses. They have no money. They're working, going to school. I mean, 13, 12, 13, 10-year-olds are working at, at jobs little jobs, going to school and using that money to pay bus fare to go 30 or 45 minutes on the bus to get to these jackasses in this league boxing and aren't learning how to box. And excuse me, everybody that wants to be about proper protocol here, that offends the fuck up out of me. And it should offend you. So pardon me, if anybody's got problems with us being so fervently against and angry about what is going on in this area in Columbia, South America. And if it's going on in your area, if you are in the Bronx, if you are in uh, Queens or Harlem, in New York City and it's going on, stand the hell up. If it's going on in Miami, Florida, stand the hell up. And I know that's not going on in these places. Uh, 
They're just going around and saying a guy that's working four hours, working his ass off four hours a day, which would be big Diego. He ain't worth a damn. He's awful. He's this. He's that. And what these jackasses don't know is Diego got away from league boxing and went to a private gym, and he did learn how to box. And so Diego or his dad ends up watching this and they get it translated. What I'd do, Diego, I'd go back down there in Piet Cuesta and I'd one at a time start beating the shit out of these guys down there. And of course, not to get back at the guys. Not to get back at them, but to show the jackasses running it that are talking crap about boxers. Their boxers. You. Others. Um, they ain't talking too much shit about Joe right about now. See, saw the biggest one down here tomorrow. Yesterday, as a matter of fact, and I took my wife to do something up there. And big old guy just turns away and walks the other way like he didn't see me. Nervous as shit. And he should be nervous. If they're sitting down there talking shit, they should be nervous. goes for the kids, too. Kid, you don't need to be in this sport if you don't be doing this. Whether your trainer's doing it or whether he doesn't. Trainers, you need to start being careful because eventually um, somebody's going to come up on you and give you something you don't want. Don't fuck around with the children. Place their interest first. If you don't know what you're doing, get somebody in there that doesn't know what they're doing to help these help your kids. And I'll just leave that at that. So just wanted to explain. Uh, Joe's got no beef with no kids. Uh, the beefs are with these trainers. He wants everything to go up on video. Uh, so, so everyone around here will see that these trainers are a bunch of false fake phones that couldn't box themselves out of a paper bag. And they need to be dispensed with accordingly. They need to go on to selling used cars or uh, street sweeping or something else, but they don't belong teaching kids in a combat sport. Move over to the soccer division or the department of badminton girls or something. Combat sports is not the place for it.